Folks, welcome to this video where I'm pleased to demonstrate the concept of fish trap. Now, I feel the fish trap is not a very complicated thing. It's just an advanced version of the three point bearing. And that three point bearing itself is a running fix. So running fix in the whole context, I would like to say that three bearings are taken at a different point of time. Now to determine whether it is a three point bearing or fish trap, you have some clues. First thing is that if the bearing is taken from the same lighthouse, that is if all the three bearings are taken from the same lighthouse, then it is a three point bearing method. But if suppose it is not taken from the same lighthouse, for instance, you got time to take two bearings from one lighthouse and due to some X circumstance, you're not able to take the bearing for the third time from the same lighthouse. So you, de you decided to take from some other lighthouse. So at this point of time, you might not be able to use the same uh, concept while what you're doing. For Let's take an example. Let's say there are two lighthouse, lighthouse A and lighthouse B. And at eight o'clock, your ship bore this much. Let's say uh, it was zero to zero degree, zero to zero degree true. And at nine o'clock, the same lighthouse bore around three, three, zero degree true. And at 10 o'clock, lighthouse B bore 0, 1, 5 degree true. Okay. And at this point of time, there was no current. There was no speed which was affected, ship speed which was affected due to current. So the uh, whatever the speed made good is the speed, speed which was actually the ship making. Now let's consider like uh, we can take any point on this bearing on this PL. This is a position line at 0800. So your ship can be at any point on this line. And at 0900, your ship can be any point on this line. Same applies to 10 o'clock also. So we'll try to plot the ship's uh, course on this PL. We can take, we can choose any point on this PL. Let me say, let me take this one, a random point. Let me try to draw it. Okay. Now what we do is that, we try to measure 10 miles. We try to measure 10 miles and what we do is that we cut an arc. We cut an arc and what we get is a transfer PL. Now why do I do it so? Let me explain it later. Now I transfer this 8 o'clock PL over here. Well, now I did imagine at the first that my ship was traveling on this line, but the actual speed what the ship was doing was 10 knots and at 10 knots, she would have covered 10 miles for one hour. So I'm going to shift my course and this is my actual course made good and speed made good. And this becomes my eight o'clock and nine o'clock position. Well. Now being said that there's no current, I can directly use the same course made good and speed made good. I can just extend this line and wherever it cuts the 10 o'clock PL, that has to be my 10 o'clock position. Now this is a very simple concept which I have told you, which I have shared with you. Now what if I introduce current, things will start to change, but still it's not a big deal, isn't it? giving current with its direction and rate will not make things more complicated. But if I give only one data, if I have only one data, then how do we go about it? Now let's say if I have a current which is setting easterly, but I'm not aware about the rate of the current due to some, due to any reason I was I was unaware about the rate of the current. I am not aware about the rate of current, but I know the setting of the current, the direction of the current. Well, in this case, what 
are we going to do and what are the changes in the bearing what we'll be able to see it visually so i'll just change the diagram a bit now let's take an example you have uh, two lighthouses like a and b and uh, what data you have given from the paper is question paper is that you have given uh, course of easterly doing a speed engine speed of 10 knots and current is setting northeasterly and you are not aware about the rate of current and uh, neither you know this course made good and speed made good so you have got only three vital datas with which you are supposed to work out and you are also given three different uh, position lines from two lighthouses let's say this lighthouse a bore 350 three five zero degree at zero eight zero zero and the same lighthouse bore zero at nine o'clock three three zero degree true okay and another lighthouse B bore Zero zero five degree, true at ten o'clock. I guess it's clear. You have three three bearings, one from lighthouse A at eight o'clock three five zero, and from the same lighthouse you've got at nine o'clock three three zero, and at ten o'clock you got a bearing of zero zero five from lighthouse B. Now let's see how we can work out this problem. Now what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to run. let's say uh let's first try to find out the position of 9 o'clock the reason why i am saying is that it makes your problem a lot more convenient we'll try to make the 0900 as the reference line and we'll try to find out we're going to find out the position of 0900 first and later with the help of this vector we are going to find the other two positions which is 0800 and 1000 now let's see how we are going to go about it you can take any you can take any point on this line and then you can draw this easterly 10 knots to run this 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock you want to transfer this 8 o'clock pl to 9 o'clock now for my convenience i am taking this lighthouse itself so that i am not over cluttering this image bear in mind that this is not drawn to scale so i'm going to shift it so this will be my transferred pl which from 0800 i've transferred to 0900 okay well fine now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to transfer this 10 o'clock pl to 9 o'clock so i'm going to do a back run of 270 for 10 knots for 10 miles so i'm going to back run this position this pl in so i'm going to back run this pl for 10 miles and uh, this comes something like this yeah Nine o'clock to nine o'clock. Okay, fine. Now I'll just try to extend these lines. I'll try to extend both these transferred PL to show you something very unique, and I'll explain why that point is very important. The point of intersection, and from that point, from that point of intersection, we'll be able to do. Okay, so what I've done is I've just drawn a simple uh, transferred PLs. I've taken both these PLs for nine o'clock, transferred the eight o'clock and ten o'clock PL to nine o'clock, and I've just made uh, I've just extended these PLs to a point where it intersects. I'll tell you later why I've done it. Now, if your vessel was has not experienced, if your vessel had no current which supported or uh, which opposed your direction, then your position 
you all should agree that your position should be somewhere over here. The place where these two PLs intersect, that has to be your position, right? But that's not the case. Why is it so? Because you have a current which is not known. If you know the current, then it's very easy. If you know the direction and rate of the current, it's very easy. But in this case, we have only the direction of current which is northeasterly, but we don't have any other clue. Now, what we are going to do is that you can take any point in this place and then you can draw the northeasterly line. Sorry. The northeasterly direction vector. You can take it from any point. You can take it over here, here, here. But beyond this, I'll tell you why you're not supposed to take also. There are two, in above this E, the point of intersection, there's a different uh, kind of vectors which are involved. And below this point E, another set of vectors are involved. And I'll uh, explain you with a much better diagram. In this question, I'm not aware of the drift. I don't know how much my vessel has been drifted. But I'm aware what is the rate of ratio of drift. By ratio, I am trying to say the time difference. From 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, let's say it's let's take it as 60 minutes. And from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, it's 60 minutes. So the ratio is 1 is to 1. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, divide this current in a set of ratio so that I'll be able to move forward. So why am I taking ratio method? Ratio method simply I'm taking because the current is the same throughout this entire timing, which is from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock. And it's going to be affecting me from the same direction at the same rate. So the ratio will also be same. By ratio, what I'm trying to mean is that if suppose the drift is 6 miles, the ratio will be 1 is to 1 in this case. 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock is 1 hour, 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock is also 1 hour. So the ratio is 1 is to 1. If suppose this is 8, 0, 8, 3, 0, and 0, 9, 1, 5, which means 30 minutes is to 45 minutes. In this case, the ratio will be, say, 9 and 6, which is 2 is to 3. So in this case, the ratio is 2 is to 3. So basically, the ratio, what I'm trying to mean is the time difference to make things a lot more simple, I'm taking it simply 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. One hour ratio, so that we, so that it's very easy to understand. Now, as we have already said, the ratio is 1 is to 1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point E. From point E, I know what is the distance over here. Let's say the distance, if I measure a distance of 6 miles on this compass, then by taking... 1 is to 1, which is going to be 3. So this is 1 is to 1 ratio. I'm going to take this 1 is to 1 ratio. And I'm going to draw a line which intersects the point E. Okay. Now what I've done is, I've drawn a line which intersects this ratio current line to the point E. The place where this line intersects the PL of 9 o'clock is going to be the fix for 9 o'clock. What you can do now is that you can simply transfer or you can draw the current northeasterly over here. Okay. Now I'll explain you what has really happened. Now let's say Now let's say, initially, you, have, you were at this point and you were sailing 090 for 10 miles. Initially, you were at this point, you were sailing 090 for 10 miles. But due to current, which you were not aware of, you know only the direction, but you were not aware about the rate, you landed a, somewhere over here, which was a 0900 position, and you also had a PL. So you came over here and you landed up somewhere over here. 
zero nine zero zero. So your initial point was was over here zero eight zero zero, and your final position was over here. So if you join these two, then what you get is your CMG course made good. That was the actual line of your ships. This you can call it as your ships uh, actual position. If you would have taken uh, at eight fifteen, your ship would have been somewhere over here. Eight thirty, it would have been over here. And nine o'clock, your ship your, your ship was continuously on this line only. So that's what your CMG means. So if you try to extend this nine o'clock CMG beyond uh, for another hour, you will be getting your ten o'clock fix also. Now what has really happened is that you were trying to sail on a on a direction of zero nine zero, but due to current, but due to current, it was trying to push push push. You were on this line. So this is the effect of current. Now you have got the eight o'clock position. You have got the ten o'clock position, and if you measure this, you will get the drift. And in this case, we have taken one is to one, so it is going to be the same. If suppose you have taken a different ratio, let's say because of time difference, then you can either measure it or you can do it with the help of the ratio system itself. Now this is a simple explanation of a fish trap. I hope you guys understood the concept. Now uh, we'll try to uh, solve it on a chart. I'll just try to brush up the uh, uh, question very uh, very fast so that. Uh, we try to make this video a bit short and sweet.